Welcome back to the West Ham Network. My name is Anton and I hope you are keeping safe and well as always. If you are new around here, please go and hit that subscribe button now. That will help us on the march to 12,000 or you could say 20,000 subscribers. Also hit that thumbs up. That really does help us out with the algorithms of the world of YouTube. And today's West Ham Daily that's getting released nice and early is all about that guy, Keen Lewis Potter, West Ham are reportedly set to open talks with the Hull City winger over a summer signing of Keen Lewis Porter, but many other clubs still hold an interest in the forward. He is 21 years old and he has been turning heads because he's been having fantastic displays for Hull City over the past couple of seasons. He's attracting interest from a number of top flight clubs determined not to make the same mistake that they did with Jared Bowen. As we all know, Bowen rose to prominence for Pulse City, scoring 14 goals in the championship in the 2017-18 season and 22 in 46 games the following season. number of Premier League clubs watched Bowen but weren't convinced, including Everton, who instead sought fit to splash out over 60 million quid, yes, 60 million quid, on Alex Awobi and Moises Keane. Bowen was allowed to stay at Hull City for another half season, bagging another 16 goals in 29 appearances before West Ham, our beloved West Ham, finally came calling, snapping up the attacker for a fee of around £22 million. And Bowen has been flourishing in East London and on the brink of England honours. There are similarly high hopes for Lewis Potter. Everton, Spurs, Brentford or others that are other sides that are reportedly interested. Everton haven't seen firsthand what the 21-year-old can do in their FA Cup third round clash last season. It was a display that drew loads of praise. And in particular, if you know and you watch Match of the Day, even Alan Shearer said the young boy, Lewis Potter, was superb. He was a threat all night long. He's a left winger and he cuts in on his right foot, and he's also able to play as a central striker. And he attracted the eye of all of the Hull youth scouts whilst he was playing for his junior side, Hessel Rangers. And as he celebrated, get this, his 300th goal for the side just one month after his 11th birthday. So he had the ability to find the net very early on in his life. In one season alone, he managed to score 128 times um, in the Hull and District Youth League. So it's no doubt that he was snapped up and he's now worrying defences at the top sides in the championship. And he's understandably been likened to Bowen, who does the same on the opposite flank. Hull City's youth team coach, Craig Fagan, has said a lot of things about Keen Porter's low centre of gravity, puts him in more in mind of a former player that we all know about, not from West Ham, but from Chelsea, Eden Hazard. I told a lot of reporters, I've seen some players that are playing in the Premier League now and I don't believe they're as good as Keane is. He's not as good as Hazard by any stretch of the imagination at this point, but he's got the skills and the abilities to be striving towards that. However, despite Fagan's backing and a lot of clubs scrabbling for his services, he's not yet at the same stage of development that Bowen was when he moved on from Hull. Bowen had 117 championship appearances under his belt and seven in the Premier League before his switch to West Ham. Lewis Potter has made only 49, 40 plus appearances in the second tier. Um, and there is a, a wide variety of difference there, experience compared to the, the lack of experience, I suppose you could say. Nevertheless, like Bowen, Lewis Potter is not afraid of the physical stuff with his trickery on the ball, often marking him out as a target for the big, big defenders. And even when he played for the under-18s at Hull, he was able to look after himself. Um, you see a young lad, you want, you know, a lot of your, these defenders want to put a tackling on him to make sure that they know that he's there. But he had to get through years of playing in under-18s and under-23s for Hull City. And he had to get on with it, and it didn't let that affect him. And as things stands, Lewis Potter has 18 months remaining on his Hull deal although the club club holds an option for an additional year. And he has shown no sign of angling for a move. And with the club under no pressure to sell, thanks to the recent takeover by the new man who owns Hull City, Medea, 
It looks set to continue. He could look set to continue his progress with Hull City at like you know maybe past the summer, but I don't see it. I think clubs will come in and snap this up. Um, at this moment, I reckon he's potentially valued of around 18, 20 million pounds. I think Brentford had bid 10 plus million pounds for him back in January and that was refused. And they put that um that, that price there on, on his head. He made 21 championship appearances in the 2019-20 season and he enjoyed 33 League One starts from 43 outings uh, the following season. And with Hull back in the second tier, he's now an England under-21 international and he's played every single minute of the 44 championship games this term. Hull City changed managers back in January. Arvalazzi replaced Grant McCann at the helm and results did improve but they sit 18th in the table with 50 points to their name. They flirted with relegation zone, for, and, but they are now 16 points clear from the bottom three and safe from the drop. So Lewis Potter has been the shining light in their team and no other clubs have watched, it's, but several clubs have watched this development of this player. Back in October, it did emerge that West Ham were keen, uh, but Brentford and Spurs, Everton and other clubs have entered the race to try and sign the player. Any deal did fail to materialise back in January with a price tag of £12 million at the time hung around Lewis Potter's neck. But now it's suggesting that David Moyes is a big fan and is eager to push through a deal as soon as possible. And it's claimed that we would need to fork out £18 million to try and get the deal over the line. Um, Moyes has been out to see him play. He's been scouting him himself. And I think this is a, I think this player is a top-notch player. I really do. I think this is another one we can bring in from the championship that could do a job for West Ham. And you are, we are liking him. I mean, go back and uh, do you watch the championship? If you do, put the comments in. Have you ever seen him play? If you do, let us know your thoughts on him. You know, you don't make these comments lightly. You've got Jared Bowen that we can compare to Arian Robin when he was fully fit onto his, you know, playing to his, his maximum standards. And if you have Lewis Potter on the other side playing like an Eden Hazard, you can see what kind of side West Ham are trying to build. Creativity throughout the team, left, right and centre. What does that mean for the left wing? Well, I think we do lack something out there sometimes. And I think we're going to have to bring in players that can challenge what we've currently got. And he meets that rendition. He's 21 years old. He made his debut for England on the 21s back, um, I think it was earlier this year, in the 82nd minute substitute in a 3-0 victory over Albania. Um, and the, you know, it seems to be that the world's at his feet and his future's bright, but will his future be claret and blue? So leave your comments in and let me know your thoughts. I've created a little video giving you a bit of info on Keen Lewis Potter. Check this out. What do you think then? 18 million quid. Would you sign him? Would you spend some of the budget on Lewis Potter, England and under 21 international? The future's bright. Is it going to be claret and blue though? Let us know your thoughts. I am saying yes. I'm putting them up there. Why not? If you're new around here, go and check our um, membership program. If you're interested in doing that, you can click the join option. What a week it says. We're now into the Europa League week. Semi-finals. Can't wait. I'm going to be there. So we'll be bringing you lots of content. We've got the Hammer's Headlines coming out at 5 o'clock. We've got the Noble Era special getting launched at 9 o'clock tonight as well. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. That will then notify you when we do go live 
for shows as well. Stay safe. Get your comments in. Let me know your thoughts on Lewis Potter. Do you like him? Do you not? Would you like to see West Ham get him? Would you not? Stay safe, everyone. And we'll see you at five o'clock. Come on, you irons. Like a family tree, part of you.